How big is your heart? There are some of us who say, the heart is as big as this fist. That is not true. Because our hearts are bigger than this fist. Our hearts can only be filled by infinity. My dear brothers and sisters, have you ever seen Christ with a clenched fist like this? This is not godly. This is not from Christ. This is from the enemy of Christ. This closed fist can hurt. This closed fist can endure others. The hands of Christ are always extended like this. It is true that because He has opened His hands for us, we have pierced those hands and feet with our nails. That is true. When you open your hand, you make yourself vulnerable. But in making yourself vulnerable, you also make yourself more loving. If you want to live a life without pain, without getting hurt, without getting disappointed, then don't love. Because part of loving is being hurt. In fact, part of loving is being willing and ready to die for the one you love. How big is your heart? Your heart can only be filled by infinity. Your heart is not petty. Your heart is not small. Your heart is destined for greatness. The old fathers of the church used to say that men and women have two hearts. The first heart is the petty heart. It is the heart of smallness. It is the heart of being little, of being engrossed by so many little trivial matters. When you give in to jealousy, when you give in to envy, when you give in to selfish ambition, when you give in to the invitation to take revenge, to hold the weapons of terror in your hands, you make your heart small. But the fathers of the church also refer to the magnanimous heart. It is the heart that is great. It is heart that is heroic. When you choose to serve rather than to sow terror, when you choose to believe rather than to lie, when you choose to dream dreams rather than to be cynical and to be skeptical, when you choose to believe in the abundant love of God rather than to be carried by the fear of scarcity that you will lack, then your heart has become big. It is a great heart. It is a magnanimous heart. You can say, how big is the heart of the Lord? Certainly not this. Certainly not as big as a fist. Because the heart of the Lord is perhaps bigger than the entire universe. The heart of the Lord is bigger than the entire cosmos. Because our destiny is not pettiness. Our destiny is not smallness. Our destiny is not being engrossed in the trivial, unnecessary, useless things of life. Our destiny is greatness. And the heart of Jesus invites us to that greatness. What is that greatness? The other word for greatness is holiness. You cannot be holy unless you allow your heart to grow big and big and big through the years by being more loving. In the heart of Mother Teresa, there is a small heart 
there is a big heart. In the heart of Don Quixote, there is the heart of a dreamer and the heart of a cynic. In the heart of a saint, in the heart of every Christian, there is the heart that can be jealous, that we envious, that we revengeful, but there is also heart that is, can be compassionate, to be merciful, to be concerned for others. Your heart is so big, only infinity can satisfy it. Your heart is so big, only the infinite love of God can fill it. Let your heart grow big and do not be satisfied with being petty, with being small. Fly high, soar high, and love like the Lord. Lord, make our hearts like unto thine. Amen.